always wondered why my hair was red. Why am I not blonde or brown? Why is my hair so different to most? I came to realise some really interesting facts and reasons behind the red hair. So let's take a look into the crazy world of Ginger Ninjas. Only 2% of the world's population are redheads. What? When scientists looked into the genetics behind red hair, it was found that in medical procedures, gingers needed approximately 20% more anaesthesia than any other person with any different hair colour. It has also been found that we ginger ninjas have different temperature pain tolerances. But what is this hair thing anyway? What do we really need it for? The palms of your hand, the soles of your feet and your lips are some of the only places on your body that does not have hair. The reason this may come as such a shock to you is because some of the places on your body it's really easy to see your hair, like on your head, and the other places it's really hard to see, like on your cheeks. That's why I'm not walking around looking like a complete orangutan. All of your hair has a different job. For example, your eyebrows prevent sweat from dripping into your eyes. If you take a look around, you see I'm not the only one with different hair to most people. You'll notice some people have brown hair while others have blonde. Some people have curly hair while others have straight. The reason there are so many different combinations of hair is because of genes. Genes are passed on from generation to generation. And I'm not talking about the genes you wear. In your body, you have billions of cells, and each cell contains around 25,000 to 35,000 genes. Genes basically determine your physical features and traits. So if both your parents have brown hair, then in most cases you'll have brown hair too. In the human body, every cell contains a nucleus. There are pairs of chromosomes inside the nucleus. One chromosome of each parent makes up each pair. Chromosomes are made of DNA. Small sections of DNA are called genes. In the genetics of hair, there are recessive genes and dominant genes. Red hair is a recessive gene and brown hair is dominant. If you had red hair gene and a brown hair gene, then your hair would be brown as it dominates over the red hair. Say there was a woman that had red hair and a man that had brown and no trace of red hair in his family. Then if they had children, they would have brown hair, but they would have the red recessive gene still. It wouldn't be until one of the kids met someone with either red hair or the recessive gene that they would be able to have a child with red hair.